All right. Hello, everyone. Today, I am drawing on the skull of the mighty buffalo, or the bison. I'm not sure what the difference is. I bought this skull on eBay, the glorious eBay. When I got it, I was immediately surprised by its immense size and weight. Um, I mean, I knew, of course, that bison were big, but there's nothing quite like pulling one of these hefty skulls out of the box for the first time and cradling its weight in your hands and having its hollow eyes stare right back through you. I had this skull sitting in the corner of my room for about a week before I actually got around to drawing on it. And every now and then, I, it would catch my eye, and an almost imperceptible shiver would run down my spine. It always seemed to be sitting slightly off balance, and it gave the impression of being deeply disappointed in something, but of what no one could ever be sure. One might not be too far off base, however, in guessing that it wasn't too pleased about being dead. But then again, it would be a little juvenile to be surprised or dismayed by death when it has so inevitably come to so many before. So once again, I first applied a coat of white acrylic paint where I wanted to draw. This time, however, I continued conducting further experimentation and used different pens once again. I used Ku... I don't know how to say this word, Koinor pens this time. It's spelled really weird if you've ever seen this word, Koinor, Koinor pens. I think for the most part they worked better than the Sakura microperms and the Copic multiliners I used in the past. The Koinors don't have felt tips, they just have like little metal mechanisms for uh, releasing ink, which is pretty cool and is probably why they're so expensive. They seem to draw lines a lot darker and more consistently for like 90% of the time, uh, but every now and then I still did have some trouble keeping the ink flowing right, so I'm still not you know, sure I found the perfect way to do all this. We shall see. I'm going to put this bison skull and the other two deer skulls I did on eBay, and I'll put the links to that in the description. I think it would be cool one day to draw on a real human skull, but it turns out that they are somewhat difficult to get. For the past decade or so, there have been some laws or something against trading human remains, uh, with the exception being for educational or medical use, and even then, from what I've seen, a quality human skull usually goes for at least a thousand dollars or so, if not more. And there are some on eBay, but they are like really old and deteriorated, deteriorated, um, you know, not really worth it. They've got like three teeth and, you know, half their f side of the head missing or something. They just look really gross and I don't know, not really interested. Uh, so maybe I'll either have to start my own medical institution or my own morgue, or maybe I can just settle for some really, maybe just some well-made replicas I guess that wouldn't be the worst thing ever, but it would be really just sweet to draw on a real human skull. Plus, I mean, I want to be careful not to, like, offend anyone by doing something that might be interpreted as dishonoring the dead or something. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a touchy subject for some people. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the eBay links in the description if you're interested in buying this. If you're watching this video after the auctions have expired, check out my website or my Etsy uh, to see what else I've got going at the time. Thanks. Bye.